guess what you guys we're getting a new sticker for the bus it's our beach parking permit that goes right here in the window and that means we can camp on the beach in a whole new location that we haven't been to yet here on Padre Island. We're gonna be north of North Beach in an area where we can camp right on the beach and it's okay for us to fly the drone. through the barrier that takes us off of North Beach inside the National Park to another beach that is outside of the National Park and that's where we can fly our drone. I'm sure most of you know by now that you cannot fly your drone inside any National Park in the whole United States of America. Now this is totally fine for me. It's so humid here that the chances of us building up condensation in there is really hot. Yeah, I agree with you on that. So you can hear it like sputtering. Yeah. That's water. Blowing out. Yeah. It's I am so excited <laughs> to be back at the beach again. This is so awesome. This is like to Carrie's favorite. For me, it's like, okay, we're gonna get the mist, the bus is gonna rust and fall apart right here, but um that's I mean, but it, I'm gonna it get is to walk on here, the beach. But she gets to be at the beach again, so you know, this is fun, totally worth the adventure to come and do this stuff, but like I don't think like this is a long-term strategy for a bus or anything made of metal. Like yeah, you wouldn't <laughs> want to live here for free for a year or anything because you'd cause some serious damage yeah, if you probably did. Irreparable. <laughs> <laughs> but it is really cool and the sun's coming out. I so know. it looks like it's promising to be a cool day. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, look what Mama Kitty has been doing over here. She's been having a little dig fest. <laughs> She's so goofy. Apparently she loves the sand. Three of them went up on the hill too. It's not what you expect to see at the beach, yet there they are. National Schooly Graphic, bringing it right to your living room. Boom! <laughs> it's been slightly cloudy all day today and it's still, it's actually still foggy out here. You can see for a short distance but then everything just disappears into the mist. Let's go see what Mike is up to back here at the back of the bus. How's it going, Hans? Well, it's getting started here. Gotta take it all apart. Our generator kept dying and Mike's been trying to troubleshoot and figure out what the problem is. Yep. So what is this, attempt number one, two, three, what are we on here? This is really attempt two, I guess. Attempt, attempt one was trying to like figure out what the problem was. Uh-huh. And I think it's, it's gonna be water in the fuel. And I think it's because of the environment. Because the tank back here I believe uh, may have been sucking in like you know, the salt air that's very humid or just over time picked up moisture from getting hot and cold and uh, some water got in the bottom and then when the generator was running it was pulling water over into this thing causing it to, uh, to fail. So now I gotta 
drain the tank into something and clean out the lines. I'm gonna add a new fuel filter and then uh, turn it back on again. So that's it. All right, we'll see what happens. This is the tiniest little butterfly shell I've ever found yet. Man, is this fog getting thicker or was it thicker than I thought from the start? Like, I feel like visibility is severely limited right now. We, I can barely even see our neighbor campers down the way. Can you guys even see them down there? They're like, I don't know, a shadow in the mist. We'll be able to see, especially with this container right here, if there's water in it. It'll be cloudy and it'll also have, uh, if I let it sit, the water will go to the bottom because water's heavier than gas. You can usually like see um, little things swirling in the gas. That gas is just clear. There shouldn't be anything swirling in it. And when there's something swirling in it, that's water. Right. I'd say it just looks a little cloudy. It does look a little cloudy. And that's probably the stuff swirling in it. I can't believe what I just found on the beach. Oh my god, you found a shark? I know, a shark's tooth! I've never found a shark's How tooth cool before. That? that leads me to believe there are sharks here in the in the Gulf. That's eye-opening. Right? <laughs> I've seen a Portuguese man o' war on the beach, a blue button jellyfish on the beach, and now a shark's tooth. I'm that's so excited, cool. and not to mention countless shells. Nice find. <laughs> I know, right? That's a good one. Thanks, my homes. Alright, you see this right here? something like swooshing around right there oh i do see floaties <laughs> that's I all water water sinks right to the bottom wow. of gas choke on and So it was water in the gas, and uh, it just had to be dealt with. And now we can start editing and charging batteries. Been having to run the when you have weather like this for two days and Carrie's been editing like it just sucks the batteries down and so we have to run the Jenny on just to get through the day and it's the middle of winter on top of that oh, look at this fog bank like we are you can't even see the sun anymore that's the sun <laughs> you can't even see it but we are back in business that's excellent news because we got to get a video out for you guys today Look, I found a jellyfish. Ooh, jelly, jelly. Ah, jelly, jelly, jelly. <laughs> I can't believe my good luck today. I found a lettered olive, and then, just a few steps away, another lettered olive. That's two of them, and that's what I was looking for the last time we were camped on North Beach. I'm having an exceptional shell finding day today. Got up this morning and knowing there was going to be a storm coming through or a cold weather front and a little bit of rain, but check out the clouds, man. Well, 
I guess this is the moment of truth where I see if the contact paper pulls away from the adhesive that I used because it's all guesswork like there's really no perfect guidelines to follow for exactly how to do this I have to make it up as I go for the most part oh look at that that came off so easy I was like not even pulling oh there's a couple of Oh, there's just was one that was still kind of gooey and the rest of them came off super fast and easy. There's that piece. I wonder how I should do this one. Should I just pick up the whole thing and turn it over or, I so. or should I cut it first? No, I think you should flip it over. It's going to be hard to handle, to just manage. Pick it up by the corners set it up and set it right back down again super easy well these you can handle like crazy all day and not worry about them but these sections of mirror if i crack one of those right in half it's going to ruin the effect no, of the light pick up the two corners hold it in the air and set it right back down again back in. Ready? We're going to see how it looks. It's so heavy, I can't get it to stay where I want it. There. Oh, that looks good. The thing I'm the most concerned about is whether the lines of plates match up because it looks to me like this one right here that my pinky is touching mm -hmm. does not line up with the one over on the wall. Neither does this one. Yeah, these don't line up. I'm going to have to cut in between each row Careful, you're of gonna cut glue yourself. and then stick each row one at a time on, I think. It's going to work is the bottom line, though. It's going to work. Okay, i got to go figure out where to make my cut lines. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. I'm going to cut the first four strips of these completely apart and put them on the wall first and then use that as a guideline to put the rest of this whole piece on the wall and then use that as a guideline for where to put the rest of the strips so they match up with a lightning bolt. How much do I goop on there? Go Is that lighter. too much? Go like wide like that all right let's go stick these two on and see if i need to adjust my amount or anything should i spread this around no it'll squish in just go for it yeah okay Like this, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting that one all gooshed around. Okay, I might have gone a little heavy on the adhesive. Okay, look good, right? It does, not mashing on there. Okay. Moving right along. I feel like I'm using too much of this and we're going to run out of it. Maybe. Considering the plates are flat now, the stuff will gush out everywhere. I'm afraid I'm going to get it on my face. 
fingers. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I should have left a couple of pieces unbuttered like to hold on to. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm getting I'm getting close. I'm getting close. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, okay, okay. Let me do this top edge first. No, I think I got it. Does everything look right? Yeah. Make like sure that. you mash on every single tile. Yeah, I'm just getting it where I want it first. Everything seems pretty good. Including your lightnings. Amazing how great the acetone cleans it off while it's still wet. Yeah. Darn it, <laughs> this stuff is so messy. Looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, this is exactly why I left this whole row of pieces separate because this piece is too short to fill the gap here. So by not gluing it onto the mesh, this gives me an opportunity to cut a new piece for this place that's a little bit bigger and will fill the gap better. Whoa, I almost dropped it. Okay, last piece, you guys. Whoa. I just had to like slap it up there and start going for it. Strong work, Hounds, you did it. Does that look good? Look right? Yeah, you did a really good job there. Storm. <laughs> yeah, the way so we can see what it looks like here. Wow, look at Check it out. And preview of what the night sky might look like. Oh, okay, I guess I've got my work cut out for me now. Every time I think I'm done, I'm really just begun. That's true. <laughs> That's Again. pretty cool. I'm really happy to see this picture being completed across here. Yeah, me too. I know, it's so cool after all this time of just seeing blank wood up there, huh? Yeah, yeah, just yeah. to actually see a picture in some color up above the window is like shocking. And I love the way the mirror turned out for the lightning. Like as you move, it catches the light yeah. and it looks lightning-y. It's perfect. All right, I'm relatively happy with this. I think it's coming together nicely so far. I thought I was done, but I had to do all these little pieces along the edge of the window right here. And I'll have to do all the pieces that go upside down along the window edge here too. But I might as well keep going while I've got a little adhesive left. We got something new. People have done this before. We want to do a more scientific test to find out if this is real and if this is any good. And uh, chances are it'll probably help us, but not as much as we would like. We got a wind turbine. 
and we're going to uh, install it on our mast over here. But we're just trying to make see if this is going to work, but I don't think it will. Oh, that's too big. Yep. The blades are too long. That's right. So now the plan B is to put it over here and take a removable pole and stick it right over this thing or put some kind of flange there that holds it and then uh, secure it down to the corners like right here here over there and maybe over there to hold it so it just stays right here but the problem now is that uh, the wire has to run like almost 30 feet oh shoot so what a bummer man mm -mm -mm. back to drawing board go get the, all the things Big back to the ace hardware drawing board yeah right i was really hoping that would work it had been so handy just like but uh now we're gonna have to go to something a little a little more extreme but look at our new weather van it's so nice <laughs> okay all right we'll try it again how's it going up here mahones good i'm just uh I just sacrificed a uh, our extension cord because I got a new one to replace it, and we're going to use that as the wire that runs. The cool thing about it is I'm going to leave the plugs on the end, and that will allow us to unplug this thing to stow it. Cool. So all I got to do now is wire it, stand it, put the props on it. And then uh, run the wire inside. Here's what we got so far. Oh wow! So a ratchet strap down at four different points. All right, it's up. The thing's up right now. I got it locked with the with the extension cord right now so that it doesn't uh, spin out of control. This thing actually has a built-in braking system to slow it down because it's not under a load. This thing spins will spin way too fast uh, for its design. So uh, we've got to hook up the electronics before we can do any of the uh, of the uh, uh, testing. So let's do that first. So our neighbors Jay and Sarah caught what is this fish called? Red drum. A red drum and it's huge. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. I feel like we're on Survivor right now. Like we just caught our food out of the sea. <laughs> it wasn't us though, it was someone else on our tribe. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for that. That was really generous. Oh, no yeah, I guys, love your new bike. You guys are around and we catch more, man. We'll come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, our freezer is we, we got enough bread in our freezer, so we don't want any more. We want uh what do we want? Uh, mackerel, Spanish mackerel and pumpano. Oh you have like your unicorns that you're after yeah. at this point. Yeah. <laughs> some red drum here red drum red drum we're gonna eat good tonight it's gonna be excellent man all right what mamacita what do you smell a little bit of fish maybe you want a little tiny piece huh no that's a scale you don't want that she's hanging around awfully close to dad right now mama for the mamacita. Well, we're having a super informal feast tonight of red rum and rice and cranberries. Red drum. 
I've never had this before, but it's delicious fish. And they and Jay, our neighbor over here, yeah. said it was going to be delicious. Yeah, I've not only never had it, I've never even heard of it before. But it is really good. And we just had it sautéed in butter and this delicious seasoning that Sarah gave us. I can't remember the name of it. I'll have to ask. Yeah, I just I powered through this. It was so good. But and yeah. we still have tons of this fish left. We're going to try it yeah. breaded tomorrow. Yeah, and fried. Breaded and fried. I want to get tempura to do a tempura batter to fry it in. It was delicious. Yeah. Delicious. That was really good. So thank you, Sarah and Jay. That was awesome. You guys awesome. are great. Yeah. So cool. Not, yeah. Not only did they break out and share fish with us, they totally broke out and gave Mike a fishing pole and reel. And reel. Like a surf fishing, yeah. a Shimano high-end fishing reel. Everything. Like everything to fish, a weight, everything I needed to go fishing. So then, then Mike was able to just, him. yeah, stay out there and fish with him all afternoon, late into the evening. Like it was getting dark and Mike was finally coming in all freezing cold and wet. It wasn't freezing cold, <laughs> it was 78 degrees outside, but it was windy and the wind's blowing off the water. And it, the interesting thing is like the waves break and it creates that mist and then you have an onshore breeze. And so you can't get dry. I mean, not like you feel sticky. I'm talking like your hands are shimmery wet. Like literally wet. The entire yeah. time I just sat there and was just wet the whole time. But we were having a great day. And then, but was it worth it? Oh, heck yeah. He even has a fishing drone. Like kind of like our drone. Except yeah, I has, saw a film of that. Like he was, we were flying it out like 300, 300 yards and dropping in the water. And it wouldn't be like three minutes, and he's hooked into something large. Yeah, a big old shark or whatever. That was amazing. That was cool. And you're catching sharks like you're catching like sharks like every other cast out there, and that's kind of freaky, man. There is this ecosystem living in the first hundred yards of water out here that you just had no idea existed. Pompano, red drum. There's catfish. There's trout. Sharks. Um, what else? Mackerel. All these things are living within a hundred yards, voraciously feeding on anything you throw out there. I couldn't believe how much fish this guy is catching. And that 25 pound fish he gave to us, that's what we're eating right now. And it is amazing. So, anyway, I'll leave it at that. Thank you, Sarah and Jay. Thank you, Sarah and Jay. You made my day big time. And you made our day and our dinner come together so perfectly we were supposed to go grocery shopping day we had nothing and now we had but you know what we killer didn't have fish. time to go grocery shopping because i had to edit all day so I like know. it was really great that this worked out this way i know to get this huge fish like thrown in our lap like that and then a fishing pole and everything like that like you could you could feed yourself off this beach a hundred percent easy yep you so. could just live here yeah so anyway there'll be more to that because he's got a cool net we got to catch some bait and so hopefully the next day or so, we'll be able to throw his little net out there and catch some more bait. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. All right, we'll see you guys later. I know I promised you guys like an in-depth review of this uh, wind turbine, but uh, we're not going to do it this video only because I'm still gathering data. But so far, it's not looking very good, guys. We'll see you guys next week.